So the celibacy thing, remember Sister Jean Leroy on her prophecy, the book Catholic Prophecy by Eve Stephon, says they will vilify celibacy. Well, Michael Rose, who's now living in Cincinnati, Ohio, wrote a book called Goodbye Good Men where he documented the recruiting of homosexuals to be ordained in the counterfeit church priesthood. Because remember, the ordination was made doubtful and the bishops was ruined in 1969. And they recruited homosexuals throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s, the counterfeit church, the anti-popes and their agents like so-called Archbishop Joseph Bernardine. And then in 1998, during the Monica Lewinsky scandal with Clinton, they burst on the world all these priests who had, had uh, molested children and were passed around by their bishops. All of which should get capital punishment, in my opinion. The bishops have passed those priests around. So what do people think now? For centuries, including when I was a little kid in the 60s and 50s, people saw a priest walking down the street and they thought a man of God giving his life to servicing other, others through the sacraments and counseling and, and helping people. What do they think now when they see a priest walking down the street? They think, is that a pedophile? So, as was said in a major Congress, anti-Catholic Congress in 1935, we will leave a dark stain upon the church and the recruiting of homosexuals to be fake ordained in the counterfeit Catholic priesthood is that dark stain. But this again was the Catholic, was the counterfeit church, not the Catholic church. We might end this section by saying, John the 23rd prepared the way they called Vatican II. They changed the mass, the sacraments. Uh, let everybody get an annulment, Catholic divorce so-called, when there were no annulments uh, hardly ever before then, because not many marriages qualified for annulments. annulments. They made them, all these liturgies, and so many of them, the silliness, and uh, vicious heretics teaching everywhere, and persecuting the parents who tried to stem the tide. It was a demolition operation, and we could go on and on about that, but it was a demolition operation of the counterfeit church, the top of the secret societies, taking over the Vatican against the Catholic Church. This was not just a few liberals who were experimenting. This was a demolition operation. 